These scientists are working to harness a clean and unlimited source of power, just like stars in the sky do. Here's CNN's Bill Weir. Inside this building, some very smart people built a star on Earth. Not the Hollywood kind, that's easy. No, the burning ball of gas in the sky kind. One of the hardest things humans have ever tried. I was at the airport when my boss called me and I burst into tears. <laughs> Tammy Ma is among the scientists who have been chasing nuclear fusion for generations. Countdown for shot on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. And in the middle of a December night, they did it. And you only need a tiny little bit of fuel. That's right, yeah. Because our little pellet that sits right in the middle, you can't even see it on this target, is just two millimeters in diameter. That target includes an abundant isotope found in seawater and goes into a chamber about the size of a beach ball in the 60s, but is now a round room 30 feet across with 192 massive lasers aimed at the center. They're big laser beams about 40 by 40 centimeters. Each one alone is one of the most energetic in the world. Every time we do a shot, it's a thousand times the power of the entire U.S. electrical grid. <laughs> but <laughs> your lights don't flicker at home when we take a shot. So what we're doing is taking a huge amount of energy and compressing it down just into nanoseconds. All right. So it's about $14 of electricity. The National Ignition Facility then amplifies all that concentrated energy on the target. And if they get it just right, more energy comes out then went in with no risk of nuclear meltdown or radioactive waste. In a fusion power plant, you would shoot the same target over and over at about 10 times a second, dropping a target in and shooting it with lasers. So you'd need a target loader, like a we machine gun. You need a target loader, right? exactly. So there's still many, many technology jumps that we need to make. But that's what makes it so exciting, right? A lot of people were saying you've invested all this money, time to pull the plug because you guys haven't achieved ignition. Right. I mean, it's called the National Ignition Facility, right? <laughs> And, at some point, um, you better at some point get you better middle. ignite. Yes, <laughs> you exactly. Ignite something. I mean, it's really hard to replicate the process that's happening on the sun on Earth. It's just really hard. And so, when that happened in December, what it said is that this is actually possible. So it's no longer a question of whether; it's just a question of when that fusion is actually possible. Now, let's get to work. Jake, experts say we are decades away from most people being able to plug into fusion energy, but there is a startup called Helion, which has a machine that's shaped like a dumbbell. They say can fire plasma rings at each other at a million miles an hour and will generate electricity by next year. In fact, Microsoft, in a first-of-its-kind deal, has already purchased fusion electricity from them in 2028. The future's coming fast, Jake.